Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of 3D Printing Pleb. Today we're going to support a tall, narrow object. So, issue here, you can't add supports that actually help this. Except there is a solution and it's rather easy. If you go to zigzag supports, set your support Z distance, I'm Canadian, to 0 0.25, and then uncheck generate supports. This method will... Actually, you can generate normal supports too, they just have to be of the same settings. I've also turned support interfaces off, so that this is very, very easy to remove. So then on the very top here, I put a custom support. I scale that custom support. Nope, I have to actually choose the custom support here from this little object menu. You can also just click on it. Turn uniform scaling off and then make this as long as you desire. I think right about there should be perfect. At that point, if you slice, you should get a very nice rectangle here that just surrounds the tall, thin object and makes it much easier to print and much more reliable, much more stable standing up straight. So, if I'm to preview this, you'll see right here, I have a very, very easy to print rectangle it's going to print these large zigzags, barely takes any time, super simple to do, and that's it. Um, I don't ha I'm too lazy to edit this video, but I do have a Mandalorian rifle I'm doing right now. This is one of the files from it. I've already printed three pieces this thin, very successfully. I highly recommend the method. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.